On December the 10th, 1923, the Nobel Prize was awarded, according to tradition at the time, in the Celebration Hall of the Royal Musical Academy at Neubrookhain 11 in Stockholm. But this year was different. The awardees of the prize in physiology or medicine, Frederick G. Banting and John J. R. MacLeod from Toronto, Canada, were unable to attend the ceremony and their prize was received by the ambassador of the British Commonwealth in Stockholm as an intermediary. Behind the laureate's non-appearance was widespread internal and external dissatisfaction, not with awarding the discovery of insulin itself, but with the specific choice of laureates. Should both, or only one of them, possibly in combination with a co-worker, have received the award instead? The choice of John MacLeod was questioned, and when Banting received a telegram from the Nobel Committee that he had been awarded, he was so angry that MacLeod was offered the same honour that he initially refused to accept the prize. He was, however, eventually persuaded to accept, but decided that he would share the prize money with his associate, Charles Best. MacLeod decided likewise and shared his part with the biochemist, James Collip. In this documentary, we'll give our view of the problems that were associated with this Nobel Prize from today's perspective. The first section summarises the development of knowledge about diabetes until the beginning of the 1920s, while evaluation of Nobel activities at the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm are scrutinised in the middle section. Finally, some later advances based on the discovery of insulin and of great importance to the treatment of diabetes will be reviewed.